Hello everyone, this is the Alcano 5 right here, bringing you a tutorial on how to get the crossed off exotic auto rifle. It is pretty much the gun from the start of the game that started off this whole game is now exotic and I'm going to show you how to do it. So first things first is you want to have that inter relay key I just showed you at the start of this um, video. Next thing is you want to go into the patrol on the Cosmos drone or patrol on the plague like, and make your way over to the Cosmos drone. And what, how to get there is go to the divide and pretty much just retrack your steps going all the way back uh, to the Cosmos drone and you will see an inter relay. I will quickly speed it up for you guys so I'll see you in a bit. So as soon as you come out into this snow area here you want to make your way over here onto the block here and then jump your way up to the top. There will be a little panel which lets you access your um, into a relay key and this is where it will let you bypass to this area so you can pick up this um, part for this crossed off auto rifle. As you see here I am holding it so you get a bit of it in action and just make your way past all these vandals they don't really touch as much and I'll see you when you get So as soon as you come out into the Cosmodrome you see a lot of cars you know this reminds you about of spawn when you first started playing Destiny so you want to make your way over to this new ship that has been put here and in this ship there will be a special chest for you to pick up as you will probably see on my screen in a second is that they won't be there for me because as you see it's really in my hand so it wouldn't actually give me it but apparently there may be a way for the fawn on this as well i'm not sure if it's true or not but we will find out how to get this fawn at some point i will upload a video but as you see there there's chests in the corner and you just go along and pick it up and you will have the crossed off cinematic shit uh, but as like i said it won't be there for me sadly not because i really do have the weapon so next step Right. Next step is pretty much come back to the temple and the Rise of Iron and go to this guy down here. He will give you the next step to the quest. And the next step to this quest is weapon parts and it has a um, note pages. And I'm going to show you where all these weapon parts are. And I'm also going to tell you how you can actually achieve the, um, the uh, notes that will come down. So yeah, let's get on with it. Drop. So on this next part it is quite a bit of a challenge at first but I'm going to show you so it should be easy for you. So as you see here a part, uh, I mean not part, I mean the note manual page has dropped for me and they only can drop from splicer enemies, it's just killing a lot of them. There's 10 to collect so you do have to kill a lot of splicer um, enemies I'm afraid. So that's how you get the manual pages. So now I'm going to show you where you can get the manual parts. There are three different locations and two of them are quite next to each other but the other one's quite far away. But like I said I will show you so let's get on with it. So as you make your way down this Devil Air Shrike you will come across this area here. It's pretty much just straight on the right as you see there it just glows up for you. It um, just be in the corner just pick up the weapon part and that is one out of three. And then you can keep on going out there'll be another one. This is the second part, it's pretty much you come out to the tank area, jump on this building, jump down here and it'll be in this corner but as you see I already picked up but it'll be in that corner for you there. The next part is pretty much you have to come back into this area here and it'll be hiding underneath the stairs. It's pretty much before you um, go into the divide. So as you see there quest now is completed but so let's go back to the temple. What? So once you come back to the temple and you come back to the vanguard guy again, it will give you the next step to this uh, quest and it's pretty much just another mission for you to complete and this mission is, this mission will either require you to have at least a Galahorn, so make sure you do acquire a Galahorn or at least get another friend just to help you out with this mission as it can be quite challenging. So uh, first things first when you come in out to the divide there will be a captain you have to kill in a certain time limit. Technically you don't actually have to kill him, you have to just put him onto a low health as you will see here in a sec. And then I'll show you the next part of this next step. Oh my fucking god, this captain's so gay. And as you see here, I got the captain dead. He now dropped me the crossed off exotic. And that's pretty much how you get it, guys. It's pretty. It's quite a um, interesting kind of way of getting the gun from the start. And the best thing about this mission is the ghost always reminded you that this gun was the first gun, and he had a very special relationship with you for how, the whole of Destiny. 
So it's really good that Destiny had put this in. And the perks on this are amazing. There's so many to use and I can't wait to see what combination I can use. Many thanks to my friend X9392 because he did help me find all the parts and he also did um, this before me. So many thanks to him. Uh, I don't know how he managed to figure out. Um, you can ask him yourself. But anyway, guys, if you really do hope you enjoy this video as always, be sure to subscribe for more content and I shall talk to you there. So then, see you on Five. Take care and peace, people. Goodbye.